So what am I doing here? I'm outlining um, my uh, original character's name, Warp. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do Starfield and everything. So you can see that um, you know, he's made out of star stuff. So but when I'm done, you're going to be able to see uh, planets and stuff like that. So, you know, the lines won't make a difference. It's just going to break them out from, it's going to, kind of break them out from the from the background because it's also stars as well so it's going to do a nice balance you know so that's why i do an outline let me see here so yep. i like these aquash brushes they're pushing these again but um they're so cool because you can uh you know cover a lot of space too you know how you know when you're inking something it's like oh it take forever to ink black spaces but you know it works out pretty good so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do like a little star field here or uh, uh energy i don't know what you would call it but of course uh inspired from jack kirby um the king so um this is just just circles you know and you just put it on the other side it looks like it's a great effect because you can um do some um, magnificent um, cosmic stuff, you know, <laughs> outer space and all that cool stuff. So, something I learned a long time ago, just reading comics, watching the the comic rates, how they did it. So, as you can see, you can take a look. It's starting to take shape already. So, you know, you could do this kind of thing, like. Uh, You know, and then you do all the stuff and you work your way around it. And then you can add the stars and stuff. You know, the trick I use, I use whiteout uh, to poke out the little stars and star fields. You know, so uh, it's pretty cool. You know, make sure, you know, throw a lot of stuff in there. Uh, planets and, you know, you see the planets in there. You know, just make it awesome, you know. It's, it's up to you. So... I have a, one thing I like. I was, I was seeing on my one of my Facebook comments is that um, I work for Galileo Learning, and I, I teach uh, the comic book workshop, and which is a nice thing. I, you know, I get to teach a lot of kids how to do comics and draw and stuff like that. But I get to keep all the materials, which is awesome. So I get I got a lot of these aquash brushes. You know, um, this one's all black because it's filled with uh, black ink, but they're cl they're straight up clear. You can put water in them. Uh, uh, ink in it because well, if, if I do like watercolor, I use Doc Martin's watercolors and I just get my fill it up with my other ones with water, dip it in, just go all the way. If I wanted to do a, 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 this all watercolor, I could do watercolor. Yeah, you know, I like to do the, the digital around because I uh, get a nice cleaner look. But if you want a nice traditional look, so it's pretty cool. So, and then um, we'll have that done a little bit. Okay, so I got pretty much one corner here. I'm just show demonstrate how I, you know, I put the uh, stars in, um, stuff like that. So you can see you could take a shape there. There's a sun right there in the corner. Um, so I'll just go ahead and poke in the stars. And I'll just do randomly. You know, you can make big ones, little ones. You know, um, I like this kind of uh, uh, white out because, you know, uh, because basically what I'm pre pre prepping it for, it's going to be... You know, it's going to be colored on the computer, so um, you really don't have to, uh, it's not so fancy, you know, but you get a nice effect. So let's see, here we go, so put some stars in. And I said, can't really make a mistake when you do this stuff. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Okay. Sorry, I'm... I'm watching the food network my wife likes watching it so of course she's not in here <laughs> so if you guys hear other people talking it's tv so all right um, big stars you could do a shooting star and all that I like that and over here and do this side and once you start doing you're going to see a, like a 3d effect you're going to start seeing this come to life so you back up a little bit and look 
like, whoa, that's cool. <laughs> I always get amazed when, I, when, when this happens. I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. And uh, just learning from the great, you know, Jack Kirby and all them guys, Marvel Comics and DC, um, old school, you know. Sometimes you just like to do old school stuff. So. There you go. So, hope that helps, guys. So, there you go. A little demonstration on how to do, you know, cosmic uh, stuff. So, you could do I'll do a lot of great things. As you can see, see how the white line outline kind of breaks them out from the star pattern. So, you can start seeing this pattern. Okay? Okay, so you can see I pretty much got most of uh, everything in. Uh, nice effect. So I'm going to put uh, more uh, of the stars in. And it just just, just makes it awesome. Look look great, you know. So, you know, you, you, could, you could put a lot of different effects in here. So, you know, just run with it, you know. It's like a, not, not an exact science, you know. So, but it looks cool when you're done. You get a nice effect. So, let's back up a little bit. And there you go. So, it's not done yet, but, you know, hey. You get the idea. Okay, so hopefully, start using that in your drawing, guys. Okay? All right.